strange, but I think most people are like that. We spend a lot of our energy in our life thinking about the other sex and sexuality and all that stuff. I would like to hear something about this. Uh, Nothing strange about it, it's just that your intelligence has been hijacked by your hormones. It's not you, it is just compulsive behavior, isn't it? When you were a child, uh, it didn't matter what reproductive organs a man or somebody carries, didn't matter to you. The moment the hormone started playing within you, now you can't think of the world beyond that. Your whole intelligence has been completely hijacked by your hormones. And you will see beyond a certain age, when this hormone, the play of hormones goes down, once again it doesn't matter and you look back and see you can't believe you were the one who were doing all that. <laughs> Body knows only one thing, survival, procreation. It doesn't know anything else, isn't it so? Does your body know anything else? So if you go by the way of the body, some pleasure may come to you, not that it won't, nothing wrong with the body, it's just limited, that's all. Nothing wrong being limited, but it's not the ultimate, that's all. <laughs> is it anything wrong? Is it a crime to be limited? It's not a crime, nothing wrong about it, but you will always live an unfulfilled life, that's all. No matter how, what you have, how much you have, you will still live an unfulfilled life. Now you are thinking about the opposite sex all the time. Let's say tomorrow I'll grant you a boon. All the women in the world are after you. You will see, you will still live an un unfulfilled life. Yes? You will still live an unfulfilled life. So definitely it's not going to get you beyond the bar. It will make you maybe a pleasant little bit of pleasure, a little bit of pain will happen. Nothing wrong at all with it. I'm not trying to make it dirty, make it something else. No, it is fine, it's perfectly fine. But you will live, live within the ambit of the body. If you live within the ambit of the body, body knows only survival and procreation, it doesn't know anything else. And body, every moment of your life, no matter where you think you are going, you think you went up the mountain, you came down the mountain, body doesn't know all that. Body is straight walking to the grave every moment, nowhere else. Isn't it so? You think you're going to many places. You think I've come to India, I'll go back to Lebanon, I went up the mountain, I came down the mountain. No such thing. Every step body is only going, walking straight to the grave, nowhere else but the grave. So right now, because you're young, because of the play of hormones, you've forgotten that. Slowly as time passes, it becomes more, it, be, it will become more and more apparent that it is walking towards the grave. If all that you have known is just the body and anyway you're going to lose the whole of it, fear becomes just the way to live. Recently, you know, about, I don't know, probably you didn't see the news or anything, four, five days ago, George Best died. You know George Best, you heard of him? He was one of the greatest footballers, he died. He died before the holiness program? Yes. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. He died just before the holiness program. I was just seeing a little bit of uh, clippings on him. This guy, his name is Best. <laughs> he was a great footballer, very natural footballer, okay? And he went out, all out to live his life. The way they described him was, every uh, film star, every you know popular film star or model or uh, something else they said, somebody else, huh? any… not celebrity. They w he had them on his arm at some time or the other. Sometimes he had all the three on his arm, but by the time he passed his thirty-five, he was such a broken, miserable man. He's such a broken, miserable, frustrated man. At the age of fifty-six or fifty-seven, he died. Death is not the issue, but the way you live is the issue, isn't it? 
he lived a terrible life. He had everything at him because the way of the body. If you try to make the limited the unlimited, you will suffer. There is no other way. The body's ways are very limited. If you try to make it the everything, you will suffer like anything. So you don't make it all, you being in a little bit of emotion, little bit of mind, little bit of society and try to manage it somehow. But it doesn't matter what you do, if you are sincere with your life, you will see you are still living an unfulfilled life, isn't it? So nothing wrong with the body, nothing wrong with the ways of the body, it is just very limited. It can only play that much role in your life. If you try to stretch it to all your life, you will suffer because you are trying to create falsehood. The truth of life is, body has to play only that much role in your life. Now you are trying to stretch it all over, you will definitely bring suffering to yourself. Suffering will come in a million different ways. People who think they are just perfect, nothing will ever happen to him, such people you will see after some time what will happen to them. Life has its ways to bend you and break you and knead you and grind you in a million different ways. In most unexpected ways it will do it to you. <laughs> yes? Have you seen it happening to people around you? So, nothing wrong with your hormones, but it's compulsive. Once you live a compulsive life, you're living the life of a slave, isn't it? Yes? Do you want to be a slave? Something within you never wants to be a slave, isn't it so? There is something within you which cannot be a slave. Whether you are slave to something or somebody or whatever, but once you are a slave, unknowingly, slowly you will become a long face. When you were a child, you were like this because there was not so much slavery. Slowly, as different kind of compulsions take over, without knowing why, everything is going on fine with your life. Your business is going fine, your family is good, you have good relationships, you are making money, everything. But slowly, face is becoming longer and longer. You're doing desperate acts to be happy. <laughs> As people get richer and older, you will see they start doing more and more desperate things to be happy. Isn't it so? Yes? Huh? Oh, you have not seen the things they do on the planet. <laughs> Forget about going to the moon. So, the more desperation comes because you are trying to make a small aspect of your life everything, it will not work. And uh, today especially, the culture is becoming like this, especially the western cultures have made body into everything. Suffering is untold, please see, for no reason they are suffering. Everything is well, physically everything is well. You can't think of more arrangement physically, everything is well arranged, health care, insurance, cars, everybody's got everything to do, but people are suffering immensely, where almost every second, third person is on some kind of medication just to maintain mental balance. That's not joy, yes? Where you have to take a tablet every day to remain sane is not joyfulness, isn't it? Definitely you're on the verge of breaking down every day because you made a small aspect of your life, the whole of life, that's all. Life is just taking its toll, nothing else. So don't go that way. Everything has to play that much role in your life, that's all. If you try to make it the whole, it'll not work.